Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and it's our weekly angelic message for the week beginning July 17th, 2023. So we do have a lot happening this week, a lot of things shifting and changing, a bigger divide that is occurring and we will get into that. But this is going to be the general part of the message. I will break it down then into three groups. You can, once you listen to this part, you can skip ahead to one of those groups. I have been telling everybody that changes are occurring now and will keep intensifying as the year goes on. So some people like to wait until October to get their 1010 reading. That was a disaster last year. You're going to hear me say that over and over and over again because I'm trying to make sure that that didn't happen. That doesn't happen again, right? Where everybody came in all at once. If you don't know, I do all these readings myself. I don't have a staff. So if you want to get in line for your 1010 reading, do it now or any kind of guidance that you might need. Go to angelsouls444.com. Live readings, uh, the spots are becoming more and more limited. But if you want to, you can definitely email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. And let's see if we can get you in. All right. I feel like there's swift movement. There's a great divide that is happening. So we're going to start seeing the stark contrast between people who have no social or emotional intelligence. They're just intellectual, maybe egocentric. These are the people who literally think that they can do whatever they want and they don't care what it's doing to other people. Yes, something as simple as your music is super loud and you're disturbing other people and you say, I can do whatever I want, blah, blah, blah. That's egocentric. Okay, if what you're doing interferes with other people's lives, you don't have that right. And if you're listening to this and going, what are you talking about? You have a lot of work to do. And this week is probably going to kick your butt. I'm not going to lie. Okay, so again, seeing the division of that, you're going to start seeing and seeing it very obviously how people do not have consideration for one another. Okay. So let's see what we got here. We got four of Ariel, people hanging on. This is about hanging on to money. But I, to me, this can also be hanging on to anything that is earthbound. Ariel is about the earth. So if you're hanging on to your way of thinking, you're hanging on to your prejudice, you're hanging on to your self-centeredness, more and more and more, we're going to see the absolute destruction of that mentality. And, well, how destructive it can be. Remember, we're still in the destructive era. We're tearing everything down. So when you give, you also receive. Being resistant to change, extremes, and how you save or spend money. Don't just hang on. They're saying you're hanging on to survival things, which is money. Okay, that's part of it. <laughs> but um, I don't know. When that came out, it felt more like I'm just going to do whatever I want, and I don't care if it's bothering anybody. And here's the thing, you know that this has become a problem. Yes, are there what we refer to as Karens and what's the male version of that? I forget. But yes, those people are out there who just want to find anything to complain about. But that has been put out there as sort of like a blanket statement to refer to anybody who stands their ground. So there's a difference there. Someone's just making something up and complaining about it. You, you can't call anybody who says, hey, um, I have a right to sleep. Okay, you, like you're keeping me up all night. You can't call them a Karen, right? And try to diminish them. I mean, you could, but remember, energy's at work here. I didn't make the rules, <laughs> all right? That's gonna come back on you pretty heavily. So keep that in mind. The emperor, number four, stability. This is your guardian angels coming in and helping you out. This is Archangel Uriel. Uriel can be, along with Archangel Michael, associated with the solar plexus. So this to me feels like we're finding our personal power, but it has to come from a space of wisdom not the ego, right? How do you access that wisdom? You work on your spiritual practice. You get back in touch with your soul, your higher self, your angels, getting messages. That's why I do the work I do, <laughs> right? Oh, I almost dropped the card. Stability and efficiency, taking charge of a situation, ambitious plans. I just got the feeling that something gets sort of ripped out of your hands, Something that's not yours is being taken back. Now, this can work in the reverse, too. If someone has taken something taken something from you, you may be getting that back now. Okay, let's see. Page of Raphael, a new start, especially emotionally. This is the sort of thing of, like, 
It can play out in a lot of different ways for a lot of different people. But this week is a big week of change. Lay that down. Okay? We caught that part. <laughs> and the four of Ariel is saying, you got to let go. You got to let go. You got to stop being so fearful. Or maybe defensive. And then something, this powerful person or a powerful situation comes in. I feel like it does force change. Because it does feel like something's being ripped out of your hands. This reminds me of like, <laughs> imagine um, somebody hanging on to a security blanket. And, and I'm not talking like a child. I'm talking like somebody like, you've got your vice. You've got something that is your security blanket, so to speak. But it's keeping you from healing. It's keeping you from evolving. It gets ripped away. Okay. Now, this could also be a boss, an authority figure, somebody coming in. And making some sort of decision. Then we get into this page of Raphael energy. So why does this feel like you're kind of tripping over your own feet? We'll get it here. Gentle, loving, dreamy, open-hearted. A new emotional situation. Messages regarding relationships or social invitations. Great intuitive insights. Okay, great. Awesome. But again, this feels more to me like... You can't avoid the change. You might be afraid of the change, but you can't avoid it anymore. And once, once whatever this change is happens this week or it starts to break open, you're actually relieved, I think. It's like, oh, that's done now. Okay, now, I think we have, check with astrologers, check with all your favorite astrologers, but we have Venus retrograde coming up this week, I believe, on July 22nd. So that could be leading towards reevaluating something maybe. Let's see. Queen of Michael, brilliant, self-reliant, insightful, humorous. You know exactly what to do, the benefit of experience, a time for your career rather than your relationships. <sighs> okay, so we're reading two things here. We're reading out in the collective. We're reading for the individual in a general sense, okay? So the Queen of Michael feels like getting back in touch with, you know, obviously the feminine aspect and bringing blessings in that way, but the Michael part of it. The Michael part of it. Um, clarity. Straightforwardness. Maybe even having to sort of fight a little bit because he is known as the warrior angel. <sighs> Don't fight the change. That's the thing. Don't fight the change. But something comes in that does a complete, it just flips everything over. So for some of you, this might be uh, restructuring in a corporation you make an abrupt decision that you're going to move somewhere else. Those are the kinds of things that could start to be stirring up for you this week. Out in the collective, this could be secrets getting exposed. Michael is about the truth. Truth being exposed um, even more so, <laughs> right? And suddenly the things that we were afraid of, we can start to let go a little bit. Um... I want to say with this emperor card, it's almost like you being the emperor of your own life. Being able to take some control back and feeling better about it. It's weird because we have the page there and then we have the emperor. So it's, it's like something comes in that finally releases, but I don't know that everyone's going to be comfortable with it. Even if it's like, let's say the whole banking system gets turned on its head this week. Um, there's still going to be the question of now what? <laughs> I mean, so it has that kind of like, okay, we feel empowered. We took our power back. But now what? Or think um, various revolutions. Like, okay, so we fought off this thing what we didn't like. Now what? And is the person we're now putting in charge, are they the right person? History has shown us that that has not always worked out well. All right, turquoise, awaken your empathy. The number is 34, reduces to 7. Again, this theme, well, in turquoise is about also being grounded. It can be associated with Archangel Sandalfin. But awakening your empathy, we're going to see more than ever this week. I was saying before, that division between people who are just in their ego. And they might be super, like, smart in their ego. But the power is in the emotions. So if somebody doesn't have emotional intelligence, they really don't have any power. As soon as we realize that we don't have to play that game. That's what's breaking open this week. All right? So we're going to leave it there. We're going to break down into the groups.
group one. Let's see what is going on for you. In addition to the general reading at the beginning, please make sure you go back and listen to that, okay? All right. Knight of Gabriel. All right. So you're going after something here, all right? Confident, enthusiastic, courageous, charismatic. Time to take action. Great passion for a cause. Instinctively knowing just what to do. Now, in combination with that reading at the beginning, this could be massive change that makes you go, okay, there's my sign. There's my sign. It's time to move on. There's my sign to get out of here. There's my sign to... Yeah, that could be a creative project too, just because Gabriel is there. Very sacral chakra energy. This could be taking charge of your healing process too, your emotional healing. All right, so keep that in mind. Oh, this was sticking out. Let's get this. <laughs> Five, the number of change. That's the theme. It's going to be the theme for a very long time now. So divine guidance, Archangel Sandalfin. Sandalfin helps us remain calm, centered, grounded, um, sort of equalizing our physical self with our spiritual self. The search for meaning in life. That's a big one because this is the week where spirituality or your spiritual self tries to break through and says, okay, party's over. We've allowed all this other stuff to go for too long, right? The experiment has gone too far here. Consider an alternative approach. Surround yourself with wise teachers or friends. So I don't know if I agree with that last part because people take that the wrong way. And they go off and try to find some sort of guru. I mean, yeah, always good to find a wise teacher. Make sure they're on the up and up, though. Two of Gabriel. Make bold and ambitious choices. A great progress is possible. Important relationships with people who share your vision. It's funny. It's like all this stuff is crumbling down. Your, your hand is sort of being forced to make change. And it feels like you step out and you're like, okay, I'm going to be really brave. And then that divine guidance comes in. It's like, it's kind of given this, I was brave and now I feel alone. What do I do now? And then you find that there's somebody who's in the same boat as you, who understands, who you meet someone on the path. You know what I mean? Uh, who can walk that path with you. Six of Ariel, material needs get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways. Acts of kindness, giving or receiving with a grateful heart. It's like the people come together and because we're no longer letting the distractions get us, we're able to be cooperative. We're, we're able to make sure we are looking out for one another, right? We're coming together. We're realizing we've all been under the same spell. And it's time to come out of that. So hopefully there is looking out for your neighbor, right? And uh, they looking out for you as well. Let's get you a color card. Oh, there it is. Because if you do it, you have gold, attract abundance, number 21, reduces to three. Again, we're opening our eyes. We are waking up where that wisdom is starting to pour in now. And we realize we're the ones who have the power. Okay, we can be abundant. We don't need to play this game anymore where things are so polarized. It's part of what we're working towards here. So we're exploring the opposite ends of emotions, circumstances, what happens if I embody this energy or that energy. And for those who are ready to actually move on and ascend, we use that word ascension, right? Or to move on in their spiritual understanding, there's going to need to be a blending of those two energies. Okay, so gold is also the color of your guardian angels, typically gold and white. So a lot of guidance, a lot of things coming through. Did I tell you the number? The number's 21, sorry. <laughs> I think I said that. Reduces to three again, being in your wisdom. So keep that in mind. Go back and watch the first part. See how that works out for you. All right, we're going to leave it there for you guys and move on to group two. Hello, group two. Let's see what is going on for you in addition to the first part of your message. Just add this on. Please make sure that you're sharing this video with people. Um, a while ago, my channel was taking off and then mysteriously I started getting all these notices saying you're doing this, that, and the other. And I wasn't, I got a warning on my channel for no reason. And then all of a sudden people are saying they're not seeing my videos. They're not getting the notifications. 
please make sure that you are making sure other people are seeing this, okay? <laughs> Let's not let them get away with that. All right, so we have King of Raphael. We have Four of Gabriel. Four of Ariel. I think that came up in the main one as well, the, the first message. But then we end with Ten of Ariel for you guys. So whatever occurs this week, for you it might be incredibly freeing, okay? I mean, this could be so many things, but this is that sort of thing. There was something going on with one of the banks where they were charging all these fees and now they have to give it back. There could be more working like that where something that, you know, something that was unfair, uneven, whatever, got taken from you, it's now returning. And this could help you feel very at home again in your own skin, okay? So King of Raphael, warm, generous, honorable, refined, Yes, it is safe to trust. So whatever comes up, if you're like, is this, I mean, always be careful about phishing scams and, you know, all that stuff. Be careful. Um, do your research. But something might come up this week that feels like, huh? Is that, is this for real? Can I finally relax? That's the four variable. Can I finally uh, trust that my money is coming back to me or my resources are coming back to me? Yes, they are. All right. Yes, it is safe to trust the ability to accomplish many things at once. Follow your creative passions. Something lets up so that you can make progress, all right? And then that goes right into the four of Gabriel. And this says, time for a celebration, abundant rewards for hard work, okay? Release yourself from burdensome situations. And that's the key. I don't want to make it seem like, oh, this week is all, you know, sunshine and rainbows. I mean, something's going to come up that might be a little bit like, what the heck, you know, and it's going to require you to do some fast thinking. And it might seem kind of scary at first. Um, I don't know. My company's merging with another company. Oh, no. Will I be laid off? And you find that you get a promotion, right? It, it could be something along those lines. So the, the stability, something's coming in. That can help you release this part, right? So the Four of Gabriel is coming in to help you be able to let go of some money worries. But this is also distrust. This is sort of closing off your heart, but we'll, we'll get to it. When you give, you also receive, being resistant to change, extremes in how you save or spend money. This is like the old habit that needs to be broken, <laughs> right? Now, that doesn't mean just go out and start spending your money like crazy, but you know, even, like I said, even with emotions, this is Ariel, so it's Earth, but, you know, e even in the heart space, it's sort of like, I'm going to close off my heart. I'm not going to reach out to anybody. I'm not going to be vulnerable. And the rest of it saying, it's okay. You can let some of that go. You don't have to hold everything inside, right? Then we have 10 of Ariel. There's a payoff here. There is so very much to be grateful for, financial success, and the promise of retirement, a rich and rewarding family life. There's relief coming for you if you engage with the energy correctly so i cannot tell you how many times somebody will hang on to this old energy when something new is trying to come in and all the signs are there saying it's okay go ahead enjoy this love this and <laughs> someone says no nah, i don't trust it i'm not gonna i'm not gonna do this so it's all in what you do with the energy they're giving you okay see what this is oh 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 my gosh really what <laughs> cards were all over the place okay watermelon have fun with your inner child the number is three again coming into that point of higher wisdom this game does not need to be played anymore i don't need to participate in this this week you might get a little bit of a message that there's a bit of freedom there's a bit of freedom coming with this again where you can feel emotionally okay you feel like some of that stress goes away, you do allow yourself to tap into that innocence again. It's restoring that part of you. Now, it's not all going to happen in one week, but definitely this is the start of it. All right? So we're going to leave it there for you guys and get on to group three. Hello, group three. Let's see what's going on for you. Please make sure that you go back and watch the first part of the video. That is the other part of your message. Okay? So some people are finding for group one and group two, they were finding that yeah, even though that first part of the message is like everything kind of breaking open and things getting turned on its head, it works out in your favor for the most part. Ooh, okay. King of Michael came flying out. 
I don't know if that'll pick up, but there's a big old vroom vroom motorcycle guy in the background. King of Ariel. Uh, we'll talk about it. <laughs> Hold on a second here. Interesting. This is taking charge. King of Raphael. Okay, six of Raphael. With, we've got three kings in here. Okay. Isn't there a song, We Three Kings, and isn't that the three kings visiting Jesus when he was born? Yeah, I think, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Let's just get into it. There's a lot, there's a big energy coming through with this. So King of Michael, he's all about truth, clarity, um, m you know, helping you have a healthy intellect, right? So not having you be like entirely intellectual, like you've seen some of these people who that's the only thing that matters to them. And they think that, you know, the game of life, that's how you win. And up until now, yeah, we gave into that. Ooh, are they in for a world of hurt and come 2025, okay? More on that later. Principled, rational, ambitious, respected. Wisdom, wisdom and objectivity are important now. Stay in your integrity. A situation that calls for honest and open communication. So, hold on to these, okay? I do want to mention, YouTube does not push my videos out very much. Uh, it's been one thing after another hitting my channel. So, if you can make sure that you're sharing these videos. If you are just depending on the notifications, one, you may not have the notification bell on. Two, they may not be sending them. So, make sure you're checking the channel and getting these messages. It is important, all right? Then we have King of Ariel, successful, stable, accomplished, powerful. Your plans are working out very well, professional and financial success, using resources wisely. Okay, so make note of this one. These go together. That's why I'm reading them kind of, well, here, let me hold that up a little bit longer. That's why I'm going to be reading them together. There is a reclaiming of these aspects of yourself. So if you have felt down, if you have felt like the world just, it's like one wave crashing over, uh, you know, another and another, I mean, those things will keep happening, but your ability to flow with it a little bit better, it's going to strengthen, okay? So then we have King of Raphael, warm, generous, honorable, refined. Yes, it is safe to trust. The ability to accomplish many things at once. Follow your creative passions, okay? So there's that one. And then while I'm holding this one up, we have six of Raphael, embrace your inner child, new friends or rekindled relationships, children or childhood. When I say reclaiming, I'm getting back into my power and in these areas of my life and that helps me reclaim my innocence. And actually, you know, we think of innocence as being so childlike and therefore, I don't know, weak and whatever. Your innocence is a soul frequency it's the light frequency so that's you know right along with love and that's powerful right that is very very powerful but you know part of this too for some of you this is a deep healing this is something that you finally address from childhood and with that understanding maybe it's not fully healed in this one week but you know with that understanding you start balancing out the various parts of your life but the big take home with this that I feel right here is I get my self-confidence back. I suddenly feel like, you know, if you've been beat down numerous times um, and been influenced in certain ways, suddenly that falls away and you know who you are. Yeah, it's nice. Balancing. Beautiful, complete balancing. All right. We have for you... Mauve, enjoy clear hearing. The number's 43, reduces to seven. That's archangelic energy. So listen to what's really being said. Yes, this could refer to clear audience. But in this case, with the, you know, you getting your power back, listen to what's being said. This goes along with that first original message where I said there is a big splitting where people who have, you know, intellectual, emotional, and social intelligence, they're going to be way ahead of the game far beyond the people who have you know historically always won right so you're being guided here you're being protected archangelic presence all of these are archangels right michael ariel and raphael 
healing, courage and intellect, uh, being grounded, resources, material manifestations, feeling good about, you know, living this human existence. This feels like you're going to hear news this week. And I think it's out in the collective, but it affects you in particular on a very personal level. I'm, I've been saying to everybody, it, it, whatever this might be, it could seem very scary at first. Hey, my bank is closing. Hey, my this, my that, you know, whatever. But then you realize it's a good thing, right? The bad is being caught and it's being corrected. It's being remedied and that should benefit you. All right. So remember to share this video. I am sending you all so much love and take care.